was the city. 85 year old Merrill Newman was about to leave North Korea after a 10 day tour in October when he was arrested. Now he's appeared on state TV reading an alleged confession about training South Korean guerrillas 60 years ago. They collected information of the KPA and attacked the communication system and killed three innocent operators, delayed the munition supply using explosives obtained from attacking the mine, and they attacked the KPA and harassing operations of the rear base 10 times in the Wanghe province area. The statement, which contained oddly constructed sentences and grammatical errors, also allegedly said Newman had tried to meet with soldiers he trained during the war. So I asked my guide to help me to look for their families and relatives living in DPRK, and I gave the document written with their addresses and email addresses to the guide in the Yangkut Do Hotel. The confession was allegedly recorded on November the 9th, but there was no direct comment from Newman to confirm details. Although the government in Pyongyang has been accused of forcing statements from detainees in the past, one Korea watcher says the timing of the arrest is very odd. Because it's created troubles with relations with the United States exactly at the time when they have good where they badly need good relations. And it's created some problems with tourist industry exactly at the time when the North Korean government is obviously serious, unusually serious, about attracting foreign tourists in North Korea. Newman's statement says if he returns to the US, he will tell the truth about North Korea, a sign he could soon be free. Alan Fisher, Al Jazeera, Washington.